How about that recent game between the Wizards and the Rockets, folks? If you're a Wizards supporter, it might have been tough to watch. No matter which side you root for, there's a lot to unpack from that game. So why don't we get into it? Unfortunately for the Wizards, they were playing with a depleted roster due to injuries. Kudos to the Wizards' mash unit for keeping the score close for two-plus quarters. It's no big failure they got buried when the Rockets got serious. Houston has genuine NBA talent that wants very much to make the play-in and then the playoffs. Washington was terrible when they had their regulars. And with the entire starting five out with injuries, they're going to be that much worse. It's okay to praise their effort and acknowledge reality without resorting to propaganda and outright lies. It's okay to say the team isn't any good, praise a good play as exactly that, a good play, and talk about how much players need to work and improve to become good NBA players. It does no one any good to spread BS. But what does this all mean? Well, the Wizards were outmatched by the Rockets. Despite the Wizards' attempts to put up a good fight, the Rockets displayed a level of talent that the Wizards just couldn't match. The Wizards have the opportunity to take a hard look at their shortcomings, primarily their lack of depth and overall talent on the roster. Despite the loss, the future still holds many possibilities for the Wizards. Washington falls to 11 and 58 on the season. So keep your heads up, Wizards supporters. The game is far from over. Until next time, keep cheering for your team, and remember, every game is a chance to learn and grow.